Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Testing. Today we are going to see defect life cycle in T. So let's get started. Before starting our video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to get stay updated for the software testing videos. Before starting up, let's revise some concepts. What is defect? Defect is a system error that doesn't allow the intended action to be completed. Finding defect is the tester's most important task. It is important to start testing as early as possible because defect can be found throughout the entire software development process. So these are few stages of software uh, defect life cycle in which you, you can specify the defects. So let's see one by one. First one, when customer gives the requirement, developers are developing the software. Testing team is writing test cases and looking at the requirements. Developer develops the product. Test engineer start testing the product. He finds some defect. Now the test engineer must send the defect to the developer team. He prepares a defect report and sends the mail to the development team saying bug is open. Development lead looks at the mail at the bug and by looking at the bug, he come to know into which development engineer should assign the bug. So he sends the defect report to that particular developer saying that bug is assigned. The development engineer fixes the bug and sends mail to the test engineer saying that bug is fixed. He also cc to the development lead. Now the test engineer takes the new build in which the bug is fixed and retest it again. And if the bug is really fixed, then he send mail to the development or saying that bug is closed or CC to the development lead. Every bug will have the, an unique number. If the defect is still there, then it will send back as bug is reopened. These are few stages which are really very common. And now we are going to see some uncommon stages. Reject bug. Now when test engineer sends defect re report, the development lead will look at the, look at the report and reject, can reject the bug. Bug can be rejected because of misunderstanding of development. If test engineer misunderstood some requirements and he may raise the bug. While installing or configuring the product, wrongly configured or installed product we, and we found a bug in the product so it can be rejected referring old requirement if suddenly requirement has been changed and it has not been reported to the test engineer he may uh, raise the bug and developer may reject the bug because of an extra feature test engineer may raise the bug but developer can reject the bug by saying it's an extra feature and it is not needed in this build duplicate bug because of common features we may get duplicate bug let's say some search feature is there in one module and same search feature is there in another module if developer had copied the same code to the another module then both the test engineer which are testing different modules but uh, testing same feature may get same bugs so developer at this time he can say this bug is duplicate and b second one is b finds bug in a's module and suppose some test engineer is testing some a module and uh, another test engineer comes into that test engineers uh, work and search in that module and find out some bugs in that module then it du duplicate bugs may report it so developer can reject this bug saying that these are duplicate bugs next one is cannot be fixed changes are there test engineer finds a bug and send it to the development lead development lead looks at the bug and send it back saying that it cannot be fixed why does this happen because technology itself is not supporting. Programming languages are using itself is not having the capability to solve the problem. Whenever there is a bug in the root of the product, it's a minor bug, then the development lead can say that it cannot be fixed. But it's a critical bug, then development lead cannot reject the bug. If the cost of fixing the bug is more than the cost of the bug itself, 
that is cost of the bug means loss of in, loss incurred because of the bug in all these three stages developer can say that we cannot fix the bug next one is postponed or fixed in the next release when we find a bug during the end of the release it could be a minor bug or major bug but it, it is not critical bug then developer won't have time to fix the bugs in such bugs will be postponed and fixed in the next release and bug status will be open in second state developer have built some application test engineer are testing the application and they found some bug and bug is sent to the development team developer can say that will postpone this bug in the next release and replies back saying that they will not fix the bug now because customer is thinking to change the application module if the application module is not change then will fix the bug in the next release and if it is changed then there is there will be no bug and the third stage if the bug is minor and the feature is exposed to the internal user in all these scenarios the developers can say that we will postpone the bug next state is not reproducible bug because of platform mismatch or because of improper defect report because of data mismatch because of build mismatch or because of some inconsistent defects if the developer is not able to reproduce the same bug then he may say that or reject the bug by saying it is not reproducible next is request for enhancement or rap if te if test engineer is testing some application and he may find some defect and he sent to the developer but developer is saying that it's not the requirement and we may raise as a rfe so he may raise, he may reject the defect by saying that we may raise the rfe for it so these are the stages in which the bug has to go through so if you like the video please like and share and subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts please comment below in this video will uh, will give you crisp clear information throughout the video so please like share do some support and stay tuned for the next video bye bye